What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Zoop. You're watching The Tom O'Brien Show. TGIF, as Tom would say, uh, definitely is. Uh, before we break into anything, what's going on with the market, let's just do you know some housekeeping. First things first, we had uh, live trading Fridays again today uh, with Larry Pesavento. Uh, that was awesome. That occurs every second and fourth Friday uh, of the month. So I believe the next one is going to be, pull up my calendar here. I believe that's going to be the 22nd. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so that'll be the 22nd. Uh, that's going to be a good time. For this month, we have, a, you can use the code Larry NOV 24 That gets you $50 off your uh, first month. Again, the price for this is going to go for, for two sessions. That is both the second and fourth Friday. Of course, if you buy for the fourth Friday, you get to go to the you know second Friday of, say, December. Uh, so nothing to worry about there. Additionally, now this is super interesting. We got something new cooking up right now. Uh, we have Basil on. He's he's the author of the opening call newsletter. Uh, he's the host of the um, Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, right here on Tiger Financial News Network. Uh, super recommend checking that out. Uh, but usually when he's on, um, <clears throat> one of the things I say is such a great value added for being a subscriber to the opening call newsletter is that you get access to all of his subscriber webinars. Okay. Uh, these are really just fantastic kind of lecture series that he does. Uh, so we do have a new one, the sectors and stocks for the next market phase. That's going to be Thursday, November 14th, 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. You have sector rotation to continue his new groups rally. Former out of favor big losers are becoming big winners. That's going to be massive, especially as we're entering into this new phase with a new president. Analyzing weekly time frames to gauge intermediate term trends. Demonstrating the critical 914 moving average crossover. The Chapman Wave technical tools of importance and then questions will be answered during uh, the live session. Uh, they definitely are, right? So this gets hosted in the Discord server that we have. Uh, if you are not a part of Discord, uh, or of our server at least on Discord, I really recommend uh, that you at least check it out. We're talking about trading all day long. People are posting their trades, different kind of musings of what's going on in different industries. Uh, and the best part is that's really $1 a year. Now, if you're a subscriber and you get to go to this uh, webinar here, you're not going to pay that $1, right? You still have to set the Discord up. But we just do that, uh, $1 at least, just to know who's in our server. We want to keep everyone safe and just kind of prevent, you know, spam. And it's done a fantastic job. I don't think we've had any issues with that in like, the, what, the three years we've been running this, two years we've been running this. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Again, uh, if it is your first time subscribing to the opening call newsletter, uh, not to worry, you know, we do offer a 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, if for whatever reason, as long as it's your first time, right? For whatever reason, it doesn't work out for you. Uh, we really bet that it is going to work out for you. This is a fantastic newsletter, but just in case you were a little bit nervous for whatever reason, that safety net is there, uh, but we don't think that you're going to have to use it because it is a fantastic service. Uh, additionally, uh, tomorrow, November 9th, uh, there is a public uh, funeral, essentially, for Tom O'Brien. I believe tomorrow would have been his birthday, uh, which is doubly great because I think the day after is the uh, Marines' 249th birthday. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, that will be at Bay Pines National Cemetery. Again, that's Bay Pines National Cemetery. Uh, that's going to be at 10 a.m., uh, obviously, in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, so, you know. Uh, the family welcomes you and all that kind of stuff. Again, that's a public um, event. And then I believe we are doing something afterwards, but that will be announced uh, at the funeral as well, um, <clears throat> what that next phase will be. So again, Bay Pines National Cemetery, it'll be fantastic if you guys can make it out. Um, if you need uh, any directions or just help finding that, you can email me at jacob at tfnn.com. Uh, additionally, you can call me on my personal cell. I won't give that out um, on YouTube live stream, but you can email me at jacob at tfnn.com and I can give that uh, to you in case you guys uh, need help. So just please let me know on that. And again, that's Bay Pines National Cemetery. Um, okay, let's take a look at what we have going on in this market. Man, still moving kind of higher, right? I mean, we're up a little sideways right now in the composite at least, right? We're up about 0.07% trading at 19,282. Dow Jones Industrial, uh, is this new all-time highs? Yeah, it is unbelievable. Up 0.81% right now, trading at $44,082 on the Dow Jones Industrial. That dollar is coming right back up, up 0.54% at 105. That's the DXY. Uh, crude oil coming down a little bit off about 2.6%, trading at $70.48. Uh, 
uh, for that light, sweet, crude future. Uh, and then the E-mini. We're making all-time highs in that again. Yes, we are. We're off a little bit from the all-time highs of that was made today. Uh, that all-time high was 60.40, 50 cents. Trading right now at 6,029 and about 25 cents, up about 0.42%. Uh, right now, gold contracts still coming back down a little bit, uh, stumbling just a tad, trading uh, off about 0.45% at 2,693. You have copper coming off 2.65%, trading at 4.31 on that contract. Uh, the Russell doing okay, up about 0.55%, um, 2,409. Silver off about 1.41, trading at 31.40 on that contract. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we're going to talk really, we have like some news today. We're going to talk about some earnings. Um, you know, how we can maybe get set up for uh, some earnings next week as well uh, to kind of play around and see what's going on. Uh, Tesla though, this is insane. And this is why I always get so like scared to honestly short this stock, right? Uh, Tommy actually made a fantastic call doing that um, in Market Insights. Strongly recommend checking out that newsletter. Um, but he did successfully, which is not something I would ever be able to do uh, because this stock, I can go long it all I want, right? If I want to go, you know, we have all these kind of different leverage ETFs if you want to kind of get into that deal, um, but but moving up uh, so immensely. Now, it is kind of interesting to note. Now, uh, you know, you get a lot of Tesla movement because of his inclusion in to the, the, the Trump cabinet but you had, a, I want to pull this up. This is Toyota, the COO for North America. Apparently you had something to say about the government pushing forward with, with the build out of EVs and how it was uh, actually not the proper time to do that. Let's, let's talk about that a little bit. This was just released pretty recently here, but maybe about like an hour ago. Um, so yeah, this is Hollis. He's the COO of North America for Toyota. Of course, Toyota had kind of a tough um, earnings as well. Uh, it basically said, we have these EVs and we need to sell these EVs and nobody's buying these EVs right now. Um, they said the US's policy of promoting the speedy adoption of electric vehicles, calling them de facto mandates, is out of sync with consumer demand. Noting government support for EVs has been a highly debated issue in the US presidential election. Uh, Jack Hollis said all the electric vehicles should grow organically without rules penalizing gas powered vehicles. The whole EV ecosystem is ahead of the consumer. It's not in line with consumers. It's just not. Folks, stay right there. We'll be right back.